The next step in this process is to go into surface comb and we're going to direct our feathers to go in the direction that we want. So I'm going to go into the perspective view and just zoom in. And by going into the sub object mode of surface comb, I can click on create and I'm going to just click and drag a vector that will direct these feathers in the direction that we want. So this is a really nice method of grooming these feathers. We can say, okay, well on the legs, you know, I definitely want those to go down on each side. And on the rear side, maybe we'll have that go back. We'll just zoom in a bit here. And on the back of the head, we're gonna want that to go down. On the top, we're gonna to have these sweep back a bit. And you could even do maybe small adjustments like on the eyebrows, have them go left and right where you need them to. And on the wings, we're gonna push these to go along the wing and then back here, maybe go back and down. So along, like so. And back and down here and along there. So we're pushing these feathers in the direction we want pretty quickly. I'm just gonna do this for the other side here on the shoulder. And we can get some nice interactive feedback with how we're going to direct these feathers, which I like a lot. Push that down and out over here. I want to go on the neck and have those push a little bit further down around the neck, like so. Then we'll pop into out of sub object mode and back into our camera. Now that we have a pretty good groom of our character's feathers going in the directions that we want, we could tweak that a little bit further. So we could go right above our surface comb and we could add an edit guides modifier. So I'll just click right here on the toolbar and I can go in and do things like uh, brush these in different directions that I want. If I wanted to get certain areas that were looking different than others. And there's obviously a whole slew of different brushes that we can choose in order to groom our character's feathers to go in the directions and uh, get the styling that we want. And that's one of the reasons why this feather system was built on top of the Ornatrix hair system in order to build on all of those tools. For right now, I'm not gonna to worry too much about this, so I'm actually gonna get rid of uh, those edits, and we're gonna move on to dynamics. 